Hi, my name is Mary Vukicevic and I am going to now try and help you to understand the difference between plus and minus lenses for the purpose of testing vision. By now you should be familiar with Nick Bastoni's case and the fact that he's had his visual acuity tested in addition to the fact that he's also had a refraction. We're going to now look at a lens box that's used for the purposes of refraction and also plus and minus lenses and the different properties of each of those and what they actually do. So we, here we have a typical lens box and in the middle here you'll see the trial frames which are placed on the patient's face and then the different lenses are added into the trial frame um, to find out whether the image is better or worse. On the left hand side here we've got some spherical lenses and these are the minus lenses. We know they're the minus lenses because if we have a look at the little edge on each lens there's a minus sign. If we move over to the right hand side of the lens box we find also spherical lenses but this time the little sign is a plus, telling us that they are plus lenses. Okay, we also have, moving down here, a vision chart used to test the near vision of the patient. And we can see all the different font sizes there. What I'm going to do shortly is introduce to you a series of lenses and place them over the top of those letters and you'll see what impact they have on the letters. For the purposes of this experiment, I've chosen two lenses to show you. On the left here is the minus 6 lens and on the right is a plus 6 lens. Let's see what happens when those lenses are placed over the print. We'll start with the plus 6 lens first. So I'm just going to pick it up and we'll move over to the print. Have a look there at the print in the middle, N12 books printed on very large pages. What happens when I introduce the plus six lens? What has the lens done to those letters? I'll move it along so you can make a comparison. Okay, let's have a look now at the same thing but with the minus lens. I'll pick that up and go back to the print and here we go again. I'll introduce the minus lens. What is the minus lens doing to the print size? Let's see if I can pick them up both together and show you them side by side. We've got the plus lens on the left and the minus lens on the right. And they're both having a very different impact on the words that you're seeing there on the near reading chart. So I'll move them up and down so you can see what the effect is. Okay, so that should definitely help you to answer the question uh, in relation to what each lens impact is on reading print size.